drivers in Pritzker's Formula One, Stock Car Scene, are John Lund and Frankie Wayman Jr. And they are two of the drivers to watch in this, the 1997 European Championship. Junior Wayman has proved to be pretty much unstoppable this year with the rapid orange back car. Whether or not John Lund can stop him remains to be seen. There's also a very strong Dutch presence, as we've seen in the Formula 2s, in Formula 1s as well. Let's see whether the Dutch can make it two European Championships in a row here this afternoon. These mighty 5-litre Chevrolet-powered cars look and sound superb. There isn't much room for them at the Northampton International Raceway. This promises to be quite a race. So, the green flag about to go down to get the 1997 European Formula 1 Stock Car Championship underway. It does so as the cars dive into the first corner then. And away from the front of the grid is Andy Robinson in 1-4-0. We've got Carsten running wide in towards the fence there on the outside of the circuit as Andy Robinson bounces off the armchair at the end of lap one. So he loses his lead already. And the rest of them make their way down. There's contact over there. Off into the barrier and over goes Danny Clark in 2 3 Dave McCrussell's red car with his back to us and also involved is the Dutch driver Henny Kuppen. So one car on its side at the start of lap two. Everybody slows down as they see the wave yellow flag. Danny Clark on his side then. And it could well be that again, yes we do have a red flag, the race will have to be restarted. And Danny Clark clambers out of his car, he's quite alright, a big round of applause from the crowd. Might see stars for a while though, and this is how it happened. Henny Cuppens in the green car gets tangled up with Danny Clark, they both spin across the front of Dave McCrudden, they all go into the barrier, and Danny Clark's car bounces onto two wheels and then onto its side. Formula 1 stock car European Championship, take two, 25 laps then. And it's the Dutch driver in car number 99 at the very front of the grid, Johan Katzberg, and he's going to lead that as the green flag goes down with Andy Robinson chasing after him. And remember that your junior Waymans and your John Lunds of this world are right at the back, so they've got an awful lot of work to do to fight their way through to the front before they can even start thinking about going for the lead. 464 Jamie Davidson there getting caught up with Paul Harrison. Paul Harrison, who won the first final of the year at Sheffield back in March, spins out here. And Paul Harrison now right at the tail end of the field. If he can get the car going again as there. Junior Wayman in 515 dives up the inside of other cars going into the first corner. John Lund behind him. So at the moment, Junior Wayman having a slightly better time of things than is John Lund. The man from Clitheroe right there in 53 closing right up. But under braking, it helps him as they come into a straight line. So Junior Wayman is able to pull away once more. A tremendous sound that these Formula 1 stock cars make. They make their way now down the back straight. There is Junior Wayman still picking his way past slower cars. Ahead of him now is Steve Lewin. There, closing up again on the braking is John Lund. But not close enough to have a go there to try and take the place away from Junior Wayman. Meantime, Andy Robinson has managed to, I think, to get himself ahead now of the Dutch driver, Johan Katzberg. One car is out from the centre. Katzberg down in third place. Gets very, very sideways right on the tail of Keith Chambers. Bang! Into the armco goes Johan Katzberg. And Keith Chambers, a former Formula One world champion, is now up into second place. He really is motoring very well. And there, Junior Wayman tries to squeeze past one of the Dutch drivers, that being number 22, which is Lava Vobers, as another one bounces into the armco. 228, Hugh van der Berf, another Dutch driver in trouble. He should be able to rejoin. Great gaggle of cars here down the back straight. 73, Rob Cowley amongst them. 284, Chris Lloyd, and also 393, Michael Smith, making their way through the battle. John Lund now right on the tail of Michael Smith as they go down across the start and finish line. Rob Cowley losing out as there. Michael Smith spins. John Lund gets caught up with him. We've got squeals of tiles. More cars bouncing wide off into the fence. Among them, 284, Chris Lloyd. They more or less sort themselves out. But that has cost certainly one or two a chance of winning the race. Among them, the Dutch driver Benny Padenkoffer, who was involved in all the dramas. Gas bot, though, there, diving up the inside of 22, Will Yarrow. Another place gained for him, as there is the new race leader. As Andy Robinson gets very crossed up, he's dropped behind Keith Chambers. Keith Chambers, who, as I say, is a former world champion in Formula 1s and a former star of the hot dog scene, is now up front. 250 then, Keith Chambers, his all red car, leading Andy Robinson. And there, third, is Junior Wayman, absolutely rocketing through the field. Behind him, four, is Gaz Bott. And number 41, Gaz Bott now, looking for a way through up into third place. Behind them both is Will Yarrow, and Johan Katzberg has done it again. The Dutch driver spins the first corner, round he goes, somewhere in all that task mode in the Dutchman. The red Indian on the roof in there, not looking too impressed by things. Johan Katzberg now is going to rejoin. The man to watch, though, is Junior Wayneman in 515 because he's now latching right onto the tail of 140 Andy Robinson. There he goes up the inside. You see, he doesn't push him out of the way. He just finds room and overtakes. Gaz Bott follows him through as well in car 41. So, Junior Wayneman there in the rapid orange Chevrolet-powered special up into second place. 
up to third is Gans Bosch and Andy Robinson, the yellow graded driver, down to fourth. Junior Wayman sawing away at the wheel, bags the car. It's going to be very strong to control one of these cars. Remember that it's not just one race a day for them. Normally, it's two heats, a final of a Grand National as well. John Lund, still in the body of the field at the moment, is in sixth place. Still a saying to make his way up through the field. Gazbot now, though, in third, losing touch with Junior Wayman. And the next question is, what sort of progress can Wayman make onto the tail of Keith Chambers? Frankie Wayman Sr., a star of Formula One stock car racing a few years ago. And Junior Wayman has carried on the family tradition. A bit like Rob speaking for the two, has won almost every championship going. There he is, Junior Wayman, second at the moment in this year's European Formula One championship. Is that, it must be said, still races from time to time, although Junior Wayman is now the quicker of the two. He's on the back straight, making his way down then to the final corner. No one behind him to give him a push, no one in front of to delay him. Across the line goes Junior Wayman, Gazbot still in third place but trailing him somewhat now. But Junior Wayman is getting ever closer to Keith Chambers. Now has he got enough time in which to have a go for the lead? John Lund now starting to attack Andy Robinson as they come on to the back straight. And John Lund should be able to boot through. Johan Katzberg there getting in the way a little bit of the race leader, 250 Keith Chambers. Chambers goes past us. Now where is Wayman? He's not that far behind. Andy Robinson's done it again. Off he goes. You've seen him have one big slide early on when he just lost the lead to Keith Chambers. He slides backwards, he hits the barrier, but he's able to continue. And Johan Katzberg, a third time, has the drama. This time, he runs wide and hits a parked car. Chris Lloyd in 284 there. Sees Junior Wayman in his mirrors. He thinks, oh, I don't want to get hit by him. So he pulls to one side. And the fearsome Junior Wayman moves through. Keith Chambers then, the race leader in 250, swings through the corner. Now, where is Junior Wayman? There he is in 515. There's only the fat marking Rob Cowley, the blue top driver, between Chambers and Wayman. Wayman goes through. Robinson spun off again. Look in the background. Oh, dear. It's not his race, is it? He did lead early on. And now he's spinning around all the time. Johan Katzberg has carried on. He has now with only four laps to go. Chambers and Wayman continue this fight for the lead, and the gap is coming down all the time. Murray Harrison in 97 runs wide. Junior Wayman laps him. Onto the back straight they now go. Chambers trying to use the traffic to his advantage. Johan Katzberg there in the blue and yellow car has finally given up the unequal struggle. The Dutch driver retires to the centre. As there, 391 Andy Smith, son of the legendary Stu Smith, muscles his way past the slower cars. Wheel of cars, Steve Lewis has lost it. Round goes the Norwich driver, clangs into the arm coat. Shall be able to rejoin though as Keith Chambers charges on. And again, he's got a back marker, one of the Dutch drivers there, 34 between himself and 515 Junior Wayman. And he now to the back marker, slides wide, through goes Junior Wayman, the gap is coming down all the time. One more lap to go. Now, has Junior Wayman got close enough to have a go? Not on the first corner, he's not. Paul Harrison just ahead of Keith Chambers there. Is it going to be a problem? I don't think he is. The car's roughly as quick as one another. And Junior Wayman arrives very, very late on the brakes, but he's overcooked it. The car slides wide, and so Keith Chambers wins the 1997 European Formula One Stock Car Championship with Junior Wayman coming home in second place and Gazbot finishing in third. John Lund makes it home fourth ahead of Andy Smith in fifth. And Jamie Davidson completes the top six of the European Championship for Briscoe's Formula One stock car class. So there is the man who finishes third, Gazbot then. A wave to the crowd, about to receive his awards. And Gazbot there receives his trophy, having chased Junior Wayman race long. So Gazbot then comes home in third position for second place after a very valiant chase, it must be said. Arguably the most successful driver in a Formula One stock car at the moment. He's been very hard to beat so far this season. It's happened today though. Junior Wayman in 515 comes home in second place. And a very good response from the crowd. A very popular driver, Junior Wayman. Yet another trophy and a bottle of champagne for him as well here at Northampton this afternoon. But victory in the 1997 European Formula One Stock Car Championship goes to the former world champion 250, Keith Chambers. A very happy man, complete with the chequered flag. A great drive by Keith Chambers. He got the lead early on and was then able to withstand all the pressure from Junior Wayman over the final few laps. A very well-deserved win. I never thought it was going to get started at one point. I had a bit of a Dutch man that fancied his chances, but he failed, so we'll just have to see how he bears up in races to come. What's it like when it starts and it stops and it starts and it stops? Do the nerves really go wild? Yeah, it just gets you more hyped up and you just want to get on with it once you're strapped in and it's an hot day like this. But I had a 
had um, a couple of good starts and then I thought the third time I might be unlucky but I had another good start so but I knew Frankie would be there about come the end but just wasn't there soon enough. So Keith Chambers wins the European Championship, the world final though is held in September.